Hi, I'm Eduardo Rosas and I'm back with another Summer in Wednesday. During this video, we're going to continue talking about how you can use search control tools to seamlessly create cross-platform applications, especially with Xamarin since you may find yourself using Windows and Mac when creating the same project. Using these tools and what I've been talking about during the last videos and the next videos will make your life way Now that we have a project on Visual Studio Team Services, it's time for us to download that project into a Mac computer and be able to use it from Xamarin Studio. Remember that from Visual Studio Team Services, we were already able to see our project, our code, and now we want to be able to use that code from Xamarin Studio. The first thing that we need to do is to get Git into our Mac computer. So all you have to do is go to git-scm.com slash download slash Mac and install the Git application into your computer. And once it is installed, you want to download to your Visual Studio Team Services account. In here, you'll see your app listed, so navigate to it. And you want to go to the Code tab. Inside of the Code tab and in the Explorer section, you will see a clone button. Click on it and you will see the clone URL. Copy the clone URL and open the, the terminal. So since Git is already installed on your PC, it's very easy to do this. Um, I'm actually going to clone the repository into my computer. The, the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I am on my desktop because that's where I want to clone my repository. So I'm going to uh, CD into my desktop and I'm already inside of my desktop. I am not going to create any folder inside of here. I am just going to git clone and my repository. So I'm going to click on enter and that's it. That is it. Uh, I'm actually going to navigate to my desktop from the finder. I have it right here. I have my desktop and notice how I have here the SOM app and I have all of my projects, including the solution, which is already identified as a file that can be opened with Xamarin Studio. Now, right now I was expecting um, GitHub, the terminal, to ask for my credentials. The thing is I might have already inserted them earlier. So uh, if it asks for your credentials, make sure that you go to your profile and you go to the security tab and you select alternate authentication credentials. In here, you want to create a username and you want to create a password in case the terminal asks, asks for your credentials. These are the ones that you want to enter. So that's great. I'm, I'm not going to double click the solution. It's going to open Xamarin Studio. And well, that's it. I'm actually able to have both Xamarin Studio and Visual Studio on Mac and PC. Uh, with my very same solution, sharing the project, of course, Windows project can't be opening here. But notice how I have my PCL and I have my Android project and I can, of course, open this and change this and check in the changes and all of these changes are going to be uploaded to the cloud. So, of course, I can download them from Visual Studio and the other way around as well. So this is quite great to be able to use these both IDs um, seamlessly without really caring about losing a memory stick or, or not having the project up updated all the time. So there you go. That's the way you can use Xamarin Studio and Visual Studio at the same time with the same. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Xamarin, if you want to learn more about uh, application development, maybe a little bit about cloud computing, integration with your mobile applications. I'm going to be posting videos as often as I can. I'm going to be posting summer in Wednesdays on every Wednesday, of course. So subscribe, uh, like the video, share it, you know, the usual stuff YouTubers say.
And uh, you know, in the description below, I have added a couple of links that may be useful to you, including a link to a very good discount to my premium submarine course on Udemy. So, hope I see you inside. Inside, inside of what? Inside of my course, I guess.